Hello everybody, so welcome to my first official Linux tutorial, I guess, although um, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to show you guys how to do what I'm gonna explain to you that you can do, but regardless, let's see, how's the lag? I hope it's not too bad. Let's test this out. So uh, today I just wanted to mention a quick thing that I found out after being distraught, kind of, by the fact that on my privacy journey, um, Bitwarden was one of those things that I was way easier left alone, uh, even though it is the has the it has the best security model and all that. It's still not optimal to use their cloud storage, especially if you have your own uh, cloud storage solution at your house or, um, you know, whether it's local or on the internet through Linode or something like that. So this is one of those things that I'm going to uh, show you guys that you can do if you've, if you've had that last stand where um, the only thing pretty much you're using cloud storage for is passwords, and even if it's Bitwarden, it makes more sense to have it on your server. So I was struggling with that for ever, for a while. So it's one of those things that um, you want to have the best um, encryption uh, model for and stuff like that. So. I wanted it to be on to unencrypted, right? And even though there is the next cloud um what is it called? Next cloud passwords uh app. It's early in the works and even though it looks nice, I agree it looks nice, right? It looks straightforward. There's not too much stuff going on. But um it's a Chrome extension, which is supposed to be probably the best supported, right, since most people are on Chrome or deriv uh, derivative of Chrome. So it's not good. Um, even the basic stuff like having to scan the uh, QR code to be able to log in uh, to this extension, it doesn't really help. So. Uh, you have to do it manually and you have to figure out a way to make it work and the QR reader just simply doesn't work, especially in the browser, which is what they're forcing you to use. So I would take this web camera, uh, turn it around and point it at the monitor and it still <laughs> would not focus as much as I wanted it to. So it's one of those things that's um, early in the works. I don't know how long it's going to be till, uh, you know, the mobile apps uh, are good. I think the Android... Um, side of things is always ahead on that, but iOS is a little lacking, so um, the iOS um, passwords app that one person is developing, I gave them like five dollars and I was like, you really need to have this end to end encryption thing enabled because, uh, you know, without it you basically are not going to use this password manager. And so I've been looking at things like uh, KeyPass, uh, XC, here, um, there it is, which is a uh, fork of KeyPass, and it seems to be the best supported right now. So uh, KeyPass XC 2.6.4 is the latest one as a filming of this video. Here are some screenshots. It looks rather nice, to be honest. It um, compared to the Bitwarden, um, uh, what's it called? Compared to how the um, online website looks for Bitwarden. It's not too far off because I've seen, I think, the regular KeyPass or the KeyPass X or one of those. The other two KeyPass variants, I don't know. One of them is abandoned, one of them doesn't look good, etc. So, uh, or it looks like complicated. This is your solution uh, on Linux, essentially. Especially this dark mode that they have in there. I was worried they wouldn't have it, but. You see the icons are pretty straightforward. You can set custom icons for everything. I still have to do the um, bit where it um, uh, loads the icon from the URL. Haven't figured that out yet. Uh, I just installed it a few hours ago. And so the question that I um, kept facing myself with, I guess, is how do I make this sync with iOS? And I have a local, uh, only local network 
Nextcloud server on which I store everything that needs to be synced. And I tried the passwords app, but I'm not going to use it without end to end encryption. And so it's just not usable for me. And I'm still waiting on um, if you guys are. Um, if you guys are more so looking forward to be able to use the passwords app on Nextcloud natively, you can try using this without end to end encryption or wait till end to end encryption comes out. Because so far, I see screenshots three days ago. I messaged him uh, maybe three, four days ago. Not entirely sure, but. Uh, yeah, and it looks really nice. It looks better than, um, it, lo it looks more native to iOS than, um, and more straightforward than what I'm going to talk about here. But, um, so this app is okay. If you want to use it, go ahead, but, um, you know, I, when I discovered this, it's already been a while since I've been thinking of moving uh, over to um, my own uh, cloud syncing solution uh, password manager. So the last stand, uh, ra completely randomly, this thing that I found out about, here it is. It's called Keepassium. So it's a fork of Keepass for iOS that's made for convenience. And I, I don't even remember how I found this, but completely randomly I saw, um, let's see, it was Keepassium here. Uh, I think I saw this, how to sync Keepass to iPhone, iPad via WebDAV. And WebDAV is a, a web um, a kind of um, protocol, basically, a very straightforward way of connecting to a server and uh, uh, get uh, files without using some kind of like third party application. Uh, so it's um, ingrained into everything, uh, every like OS that you can think of, pretty much. It's, it's really straightforward, kind of like uh, the uh, internet protocol or something. So um, even in your file manager, uh, if you're on Linux, for example, or uh, Windows, obviously, as well, it's literally everywhere. Um, you can uh, connect to a, um, a server via web dev. So it's one of those dev things. If you've heard of CalDev, that's a calendar. Uh, protocol, you know, my um, technical knowledge is not as good as it should be, maybe, if I'm talking about this, but, you know, this is the gist. So, how to sync Keepassium via WebDAV. Um, they tell you to install Boxcriptor, and also Boxcriptor is another one of those apps that I would recommend. I only found out about this, like, yesterday, or today, in fact, at the same time, through this guide. But um, Boxcriptor basically allows you to use end to end encryption on any cloud storage solution. So even if you're using Google Drive or um, um, Dropbox or iCloud, all of these work with end to end encryption. Essentially, it automatically, it's kind of like um, an easy to use client between you and the cloud where you log into it and it's able to encrypt all your files before sending them to the cloud and at no cost to you basically except maybe you know more um, what's it called more time for it to encrypt uh, locally before it sends the data over but essentially you are able to um, uh, get those files uh, through the client with no hassle basically you don't have to do anything manual um, from what I understand, uh, except for maybe like first time setup or whatever, choosing your encryption key or something like that. But it also, here's the cool part, is that it also, by that logic, works for Nextcloud, even if it's a local uh, Nextcloud thing or not. If it works for Nextcloud, that means you don't have to rely on the Nextcloud end-to-end -end encryption um, thing that they've been touting for years now and it's still lacking. So they have this page on nextcloud.com that essentially talks about um, Nextcloud features, this enterprise uh, grade, end-to-end -end encryption, ultimate protection, etc, etc. Uh, here's all this extra stuff that we included, blah blah blah. But um, 
I simply could not find an easy way to enable it and it also has limitations um, where it'll only work for folders, not for uh, individual files. So you have to make specific folders that are end-to-end -end encrypted and I've just heard way too many or I've read on the forums way too many uh, bad experience that people have had with using this end-to-end uh, -end encryption solution by Nextcloud. So I think especially if you don't want to hassle and like me you are not necessarily uh, diving super deep into uh, server uh, maintenance and you're using Nextcloud Pi and uh, these ready-made solutions uh, for um, your uh, to own your data essentially. Uh, Box Scripter is one of those things that simply allows you to have more security without a huge trade-off on convenience and uh, learning more stuff uh, pertaining to the specific thing. Now this is a hobby of mine but that doesn't mean uh, I am completely insane about this you know this isn't like my career path or something like that is like server maintenance or uh, encryption um, I don't know maintenance or whatever developing my own thing so this is just not something I see this as a means to an end so a uh, box scripter is a fantastic means to an end and there are multiple um, uh, solutions like box scripter on the app store if you're looking for an iOS solution so essentially they tell you to install box scripter uh, in box scripter add the web dev source open iOS files and make box scripter visible so box scripter uses like um, it, it's it, it can be integrated into your files app on iOS so it shows up as you know you have uh, your on my iPhone storage and then iCloud Drive and you might have Nextcloud on there. I don't think this is necessary because from what I understand the uh, key pass database file is stored encrypted so you know which is why it's able to be simply key pass database is a key KPDB key pass database format So there we go, KDBX4 is what it's called. So, yes, so it is encrypted uh, from what I understand. I can't tell you exactly how secure this is, but if you are using a local storage uh, kind of solution, um, okay, I see it's some kind of like AES type of thing, so pretty, um, uh, pretty well-known good uh, you know encryption algorithm I see it's a uh, Oregon 2 doesn't matter at the end of the day right it's good encryption it's key pass it's one of those trusted um, password managers like the final frontier essentially you know you might move from uh, Dashlane to Bitwarden from LastPass to Bitwarden and then you move from Bitwarden to key pass so because it is open source and free and all that so um, it, so it tells you to use the Box Scripter app to end-to-end um, -end encrypt your KeePass database file, but honestly I'm not sure why they say this. And also here they say you can also use other cloud integration apps. So you can simply... I'm not entirely sure if this is their solution for a decentralized sync, kind of like sync thing, like to just have it sync uh, via uh, box scripter uh, from one device to another without some kind of like center point like a server that you run or something but in my case I simply activated Nextcloud uh, in the files app uh, the integration so it kind of like it's like a web dev uh, thing and then I put in um, I created the database uh, on the local uh, on this uh, here, uh, key pass XC. And then once I figured everything out, moved everything from Bitwarden, I saved it in the root Nextcloud directory. And then I went on my phone and uh, in iOS files. Let me find you an image just so you're more aware of what I'm talking about here. 
So yeah, here is iOS files, and I'm talking about this here, where it says locations on my iPhone, iCloud Drive, and so on. You can enable Nextcloud if that's what you are using. And then when you go into Keepassium, uh, you know, you set up your uh, Face ID, uh, Touch ID, whatever, um, or not, if you choose not to, password autofill, etc. Um, and also there's a bunch of uh, commercial material here, so they let you know that it works with YubiKey, um, that it's compatible with other KeePass apps, which is exactly what makes it work, is that I have KeePass XC on here, but KeePassium on here, both are forks of KeePass, but they work because they use the same uh, format of uh, encrypted database file. So, um, and it also lets you know that it's an offline app, so it simply uses... Um, it simply uses the file that you store on there, the database file that is the KeePass database file. So, yeah, once you have that file in your next cloud, you are able to sync it between any device you want, and on iOS you install KeePassium. Uh, as it says here, it works with almost any storage provider that appears the iOS files app because it simply uses that database file. So it's pretty straightforward. You import the database, make sure you import from that Nextcloud thing, so that is the web dev server file that you are importing, so that that is what it's able to um, sync with. Um, and then the uh, the web dev protocol itself takes care of syncing and everything else. I don't even believe you need to have the Nextcloud app installed. I think you can just have uh, web dev as is, unless I'm wrong. But uh, just for security's sake, and you probably already have this anyway if you're on iOS and you're syncing to Nextcloud, is you have that Nextcloud iOS file, uh, iOS app, Nextcloud iOS app. Uh, and that gave you the ability to um, use this location next cloud in iOS files. So that's about all. Um, so far I've tested it. At first I didn't set it up exactly the right way, but it's really straightforward. It was super simple and I was surprised by uh, how long uh, I've waited for nothing because this was always there and it's nothing new as you can see this has been this project has been going on a while, so yeah, um, it looks like this is your solution for syncing iOS passwords to Nextcloud. And I personally use Linux plus iOS, that's a weird combo, right? It's usually Android and Linux, or Mac and iOS, or even Windows and um, iOS, right? But, um, yeah, this works for me perfectly, and I've already deleted my Bitwarden account that I've been using for like two years now, simply because this just works. And yeah, make sure to enable Dark Theme if you're not uh, old and you don't care about your eyes. So it has all these features here, uh, password randomizer, you can change the, just like Bitwarden, if that's what you're using currently. And if you want, uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you want me to make a tutorial on how I made this macOS-like Ubuntu thing, kind of theme. It's pretty straightforward, but that's what it allows it to be easily... That's what allows it to work efficiently with no hiccups. So... That's it. Thanks for watching.